What do you What do you feel like is the it was the biggest mistake you made in that fight that's going to be the difference in this fight? Um, I feel like it was times where um, I made a miss, but I didn't make a pay. I'm not going to go into the technique. I'm not going to go into the game plan. But I feel like it was times that um, he could have had a, a more stern, a more stern consequence for even trying to hit me. So um, that's the one thing that I can pick out. If I change that, um, I feel like the fight is you – know, I feel like I won the fight anyway. I kind of watched the fight really for the first time yesterday. And I won rounds four through eight. That's five, but that's five, but um, that's five but eight rounds. So I don't understand how I can win four, five, six, seven, and eight, and he still won the fight. Even not we're counting ten eight round um, in the fourth round. So um, add those little small tweaks in there, a um, little bit more volume, and I think we will see me get the knockout. Thanks, Tyron. Okay, okay. thanks, Damon. Let's go to Donna Corby across the way, Donna. Um, Please identify yourself, your outlet. And go hey, Donna Corby from uh, uh, the Daily Mirror. Tarrant, I wanted to ask about your initial plans before this fight was put on. First off, you were on the set of a movie, correct? You're, you're still, are you still filming? I'm still filming. Yes, I'm still putting my yeah. rap tomorrow, so I've got one more day. You know, so you were on, you, you were on the set of a movie, just like Michael Bisping was, I suppose, when, when he had that that famous fight with with Luke Rockhold, and he took it on on short notice and and. You had also said you were planning on fighting four times next year in four different disciplines. Is that still the plan, or will it have to be three now, considering you probably can't fight in January? No, it, you know, I, to be honest, like, I don't want to look ahead, but I'm not losing to Jake Paul. I didn't lose him to the first time, and this time I'm finishing the fight. I don't want no referee. I don't want no hometown advantage. I don't want no uh, let's let the storyline continue type shit happening at all. So uh, what it's going to do is, it's probably going to set us up to fight a third time. And I'm just going to replace the boxing fight I anticipated fight next year. It's going to be a fight with Jake instead. So I'm still going to fight four times. I'm still going to fight four different forms of combat. But the boxing fight that I was, you know, being prepared to fight for, that fight has just been replaced with a trilogy with Jake. Without saying too much, is Dan Hardy going to be disappointed to hear that news? I mean, Dan Hardy, why are we even talking about Dan Hardy? We're talking about Tyron Woodley, Jake Paul, the biggest fighter of the year. So let's respect myself and respect Jake Paul because we're the ones that put the asses in the seats. Dan last Hardy ain't touched the, touched the face in 10 years. Last one from me. Uh, could you show us the tattoo? Could we see the, no, the, the infamous? Not. But it is I'll real. I'll show you the other end of it, though. <laughs> the tattoo's right on the back, though. Thank you very much, Tyron. You got it. All right, thank you, Donna. Let's go to uh, Gabriel Montoya. Gabriel, go ahead. Hi, it's Gabriel Montoya with uh, Ring Magazine. Uh, thank you for your time, Mr. Woodley. Um, you were very outspoken after the first fight and before it that you felt Jake Paul was on PEDs. Um, it's come to my attention he has Memo Heredia, a former PED dealer in his camp, who's now like a strength coach. Is there testing for this fight? Uh, with Vada or USADA, and does that concern you? Um, I always want to even play field. You know, I ask them straight up. I don't want to go around it. I don't know who the guy you mentioned. It's not really, I'm not fighting him. I'm fighting Jake. So when we did the face-to-face, -face, I asked him directly to his face. The man was he on PDs. And his answer to me was no. So uh, there will uh, there will be testing. There's uh, stuff in the contract about testing. Um, I don't feel like it. It changed the fight if he was on PDs, but um, you know, obviously, you want to even play for him. So I, I'm a big believer in uh, testing. Uh, I've never even seen a fucking PD that's not thrown one in my body. I feel like when your time is up, your body doesn't allow you to compete at the level. That's your time to walk away. And I pray that you've done everything that you were supposed to do with the time frame that you had. I'm um, not trying to add another few combinations of punches or conditioning or tolerance uh, due to PED. So um, I can't really answer that question. I don't know what he's doing. I can only ask him the question as a man. But I asked him, his answer was no. And um, hopefully the test reflects the same thing. Did you see anything in looking back at your fight with him uh, in particular that you feel, obviously you're not going to give away your game plan, but did you see glaring things that he did or that you did that you can change in this rematch? As I said earlier, I just feel like um, you know, it was times in the earlier round one through three where, you know, he was keeping busy and it wasn't like he was really landing anything damaging. There was no time where he hit me with a punch that made the referee want to get in there or made it look like I was going to go 
down. Um, he punches hard. Um, one thing you'll find out about me is I'm going to keep it real. I'm going to keep it straight out of the no matter what it is. I'm not going to act like Jake Paul does not punch hard. I'm not going to act like he does not have the ability. He does have punching power. And uh, I feel like he hit me with uh, four shots that I can actually remember myself. I'm pretty sure if I go back and break down the film, it's probably more than that. But he hit me with punches that I know may have sent others down to the canvas. So with that said, I just got to make him pay a little bit more, uh, you know, when he goes out there and trying to stay busy. I feel like if I would have done that in the first couple of rounds, uh, he wouldn't have won around it and set him up, you know, to be knocked out. All right. Thank you so much.